Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's video is going to be an intentional shopping haul. It's all skincare and skin-related products, and I want to share that with you guys because you guys have been really enjoying these type of little mini intentional hauls. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so I recently went to Sephora and Winners and I picked up a couple of stuff and I wanted to share that with you guys. It wasn't all in one shot, it was like on several weekends and I compiled it together and I wanted to share that with you guys because you guys know that I am a really big advocate recently for skincare and intentional shopping and I figured I wanted to model what I believe in. I don't believe, at least for my lifestyle personally, extreme minimalism is not for me. I would rather buy things that are meaningful to me, help support my lifestyle style and I think I'd rather do that than live authentically than put on a show on the internet that I'm trying to be some like advocate for like I don't even know extreme minimalism like it's not for me and if this is not for you then I completely respect that we are all on our own journey but if you are curious then I did want to share that with you guys just little mini disclaimer okay so let's just go in order it's actually quite a bit <laughs> but I mean hey let's just have a little bit of fun okay so the first thing that I got was hair oil so this is the bio silk silk thing therapy in the original so you guys know that I have curly hair so for me it is really important to have good quality hair products before I used to use the argan oil and I just kind of felt like changing it up that one is seven dollars this one is twenty dollars so although this is a lot more pricey the bottle is bigger and it smells so good and this was one of those things that I told myself that when I finally had money this was something that I would like to be able to include in my lifestyle so it is really intentional I've been wanting to buy this since university I had a friend she used to put this in her hair she's Korean she was telling me like this was really good and I tried it and it was amazing um, and I was like, but I, I couldn't justify $20 at the time as a broke student But now I'm like, I love it. I think it is really good I'm not telling you to buy this. I'm just saying that for me personally I love 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 how it makes my curl pattern look so pretty and princess like it's Something that I like a lot. This one is a little bit trickier to get just because I have to pick it up at Winners whenever it is in stock. So next time, I think I might stock up on it because it's not always available. Although this is quite big. I've never had a bottle this big. I don't know how long this will take me to use up, but we shall see. Okay, the next thing that I did, I swung by the Korean cosmetic store. There's like an Asian retail store in the mall by my house. So I picked up another one of my holy grails. So this is Innisfree in the green tea serum. So let me open that. It's new, I haven't used it yet. I'm almost done my other one. So that's what it looks like. It looks like the bottle has been updated. It's a little bit different. The regular is just like full green. But yeah, I really swear by this. This is like, I honestly don't know guys, maybe my sixth or seventh bottle. I've been using this for the past six years all throughout China and here in Canada. It is definitely my holy grail. I try not to mess with things. If it's working well, I'm gonna just use it. Like if green tea being an antioxidant is good for you to drink, because I drink a lot of matcha just because you guys know like I'm really into Japanese culture. When I saw that Innisfree had like a green tea serum, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be really good for your skin so swear by this this is like my countless bottle as you guys have seen in all my other videos have been following me for a period of time love 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 this stuff this retails for 32 Canadian so it's kind of like mid-tier it's not like super cheap and not like super expensive so I think it is fine to use it lasts if you use it on the daily like morning and evening it goes for about like three to four months of consistent use so it is pretty good the next thing that I got was the the ordinary so this one is in the niacetamide niacetamide and zinc I don't think I'm pronouncing that right yeah from the ordinary and this was ten dollars this is actually a gift from will he got this for me for valentine's day and i've been using it and it's really good it has a slightly funky smell which is different from the hyaluronic acid version that's one that i used back in 2021 and i wanted to pick up another bottle i heard that this is like really good for your skin and like mineral and blemish formula i don't have acne i'm not wearing any makeup right now except for mascara so you guys can see that like my skin has definitely cleared a lot since I cut out gluten from my diet. Oh yeah, how's that going? Amazing. Like, now you can finally see, like, me not having gluten in my diet. Like, my skin is finally almost completely healed. Do you guys see that? Not even wearing foundation right now. You can still see, like, the scars left over from, like, the attack. <laughs> I'm just so glad that that is over. So yeah, I, I picked this up and I thought that this might help with it. Although, now I'm thinking maybe I should have done a little bit more research. I'm not really sure this is going to help me in anything. But comment down below if you know what this is good for. I just wanted to try something different. I've already tried the hyaluronic acid. So I was like, let's try the zinc. I've heard like amazing things. I heard zinc is really good for your skin. So I was like, let's give that a try. The next thing that I picked up was sunscreen. So this is the Sun Bum in the SPF 50. I picked up the yellow 
Bowl bottle uh, last year and it was really good. Uh, she's French, uses it, and I have to say that it is amazing. I really like this. It is a little bit more high-end for a sunscreen. This is $20. It's vegan, plant-based. There's two variants. There's the regular chemical variant and this is the mineral variant. I had to switch up from the chemical variant because it was kind of irritating my eyes when I'd wear it. The mineral variant doesn't do that, so I'm really, really happy about that. So yeah, highly recommend this. I've only like been using this for about two weeks and it is just phenomenal. Okay, the next thing that I have is a lip gloss. So you guys know that more or less the only drugstore product that I buy that is like not a high-end brand is actually e.l.f. I like e.l.f. a lot. I think e.l.f.'s grade is really good. I like that e.l.f. is cruelty-free and it's vegan and the quality is really, really on par with some of these like luxury houses. So yeah, I ended up getting this actually on sale. So normally this retails for $5. I got it for a dollar <laughs> at Old Navy. This is in the shade Fantasy. I wanted just like a very pretty matte shimmer um, lip gloss. That's what it looks like. I've just been really into lip glosses recently ever since I've gotten into the clean girl aesthetic. I don't wear makeup anymore, so I just love this. I highly recommend this. I think they discontinued this because I did get it from the sale section. But yeah, really happy with this little piece that I found. You guys know what I'm talking about when you like find a little sum sum and you're like, hey, I feel like I just found a treasure. Okay, so the next thing that I got. So this is pretty much like all skincare, guys. I want to show you guys the conditioner that I use. I'm really into Garnier. I don't know if this is like Canadian or American. I feel like it's Canadian, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been using Garnier since I was a kid. When I smell Garnier, it reminds me of going to the pool. I used to go swimming with my mom all the time when we would go, yeah, swimming. So yeah, I, I just, I really like Garnier. It's also vegan and cruelty-free. And from my understanding, it's Canadian. I might be wrong. Yeah, so it's Guardian Canada, made in Montreal. So I don't know. If you're American, if you have or have not seen this, let me know. So yeah, currently I just switch between the flavors. Whatever I see on sale from Garnier, I just pick up. Last time I think I got like the orange. And then this time I picked up the this one is um I saw that it had aloe extract. So I was like, ooh, I like aloe. Let's put that in my hair. So Love, love, love this. Conditioner, shampoos from Garnier, totally my vibe. I like to buy the smaller bottles because I do like to switch up the flavor. I am a minimalist in that sense. I prefer not to buy the larger bottles. I like switching it up and I like having that extra space in the bathroom. So like that just works for my lifestyle. Okay, speaking of things that go in the bathroom, so I also picked up a uh, face wash. So this one is the Senka Perfect Whip. I alternate between the two flavors. I alternate between the classic white and then the pink one. The pink one is the collagen and I think this stuff is amazing. If anyone who's ever used Japanese cosmetics knows that the Senka, which is a, a line from Shiseido, is really, really, really good. I love this stuff a lot. This is like, I have lost track of how many bottles this is. Every time I finish it, I always just go back out and get more Senka because it's just amazing. It foams up so beautifully and it leaves your skin so nice. Love, love, love this stuff. Okay, the other thing that I picked up, I kind of wanted to pick up a bit more aloe products. You guys know that I'm like crazy about aloe products. So if you guys have watched my channel, you guys know that like, I'm really big on affordable skincare. As a minimalist who had no money, I was going to put my money where my mouth was and I was definitely going to pick up affordable products. So Garnier's Hydroluronic Aloe Cream is something that I've been using a lot since I came back to Canada. So it's actually been three years since I've been using this one. I mean, not this particular box, but like I would repurchase it as it would finish. So I'll show you guys what that looks like on the inside. So it's just like a cream. Obviously this one is new, like I just bought it and it smells so good, love it. So I'm super excited to reincorporate this back into my skincare because like I haven't been using it recently since the last one finished. I just got really lazy to go to the drugstore to pick it up. Okay, speaking of skincare, recently picked up some masks. So for any of my Taiwanese and Japanese viewers, I really recommend this brand. I started using this in Taiwan. It's called Lulu Lun. I think it is a Japanese cosmetic. Yeah, it is made in Japan. But you can definitely pick this up in Taiwan and in China. It is amazing. I love this stuff. It's like really high grade. I think like Japanese cosmetics are really good. And you guys will see or have seen that I do really enjoy using Japanese cosmetics. So this is just a, a beauty mask when I feel like treating myself. I only have the one package just because like I try not to be wasteful. I do think like, you know, the face mask being like a one-time use or even a two-time use, it, you throw it in the garbage and it goes in landfills. So I only see this as a treat, not something to be excessive about. Okay, next up that we have in terms of skin is hand cream. So this is like my ride or die hand cream. This is the larger variant. When I was in university, I used to buy the mini ones for like, I think $15. So this is uh, La Sultan, the cherry blossom. This is like one of their classic smells. It's been around since time. 
time, even from like when I was in university. So yeah, I love using this stuff. I just picked up the bigger tube just because it is more cost effective and I'm a pretty like basic bitch. I just like using the same thing over and over again. Like I'm at an age now where I know what works for me. So I picked up the larger tube of this. I just keep this on my desk and I just hydrate my hands. Highly recommend this stuff, are really good. Another thing that I also picked up in terms of skincare, I picked up the Aloe Vera 92 Soothing Aloe. So this is part of my skincare routine. I usually put this on before I put on, I think this is a serum. I put this on before. It is very like thin, very light, but very hydrating. I'm a firm believer in using aloe products. As you guys have seen, I have several aloe products. I like aloe, I think it smells good, and I think it does a really good job of like nourishing. So yeah, so this one is a Korean. This is from Nature Republic. You guys know I'm obsessed with Korean cosmetics, so highly, highly recommend this one. Okay, speaking of skincare, so I recently picked up the Tatcha in the Dewy Skin Cream. It's in the purple box, so let me open that up and show you guys. Okay, I can't even open it. I'm sorry guys, my nails are too long. I can't even open this box. Oh my gosh, that was really annoying. Ah, so I got this one. This is the gratitude size. This is the largest size. It's supposed to be like the more value size compared to the like the classic one. The reason that I actually ended up purchasing something so, in my opinion, ridiculously expensive is because I've actually been using like the little mini one. Marketing actually works. So Sephora gave me the free birthday sample size. So I used this for about two months and then, cause it's October, when it was Will's birthday, <laughs> he gave me his. So I started using that one. So I've been using this for a bit, I think about like four months and honestly guys my skin looks so freaking good I mean it could be in combination with finally having quit gluten I think that helped a lot they kind of came hand in hand at the same time but yeah I, I like that I had tried it for four months so I was sure that this is something that really worked for my skin so I was like you know what I I feel comfortable investing in pieces that I know that work for me this was not an impulse purchase I had already been trying the product out for about four months I knew that my skin was good to go so I was like yeah I, I'm okay with spending more money on things that I know will work for me so I ended up picking up the gratitude size and oh my gosh like I freaking love it like I slept on this I used my Sephora points I got 10 bucks off and then I also used a gift card from my dad that he got me for Christmas so that helped reduce <laughs> the um, heavy price tag but I like it a lot it's very expensive I wouldn't recommend this unless you really 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 like it like I really 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 like it I just could not justify the price but I was like I'd rather have a few good quality items than to spend a lot of money on I don't even know whatever right and the last thing that I picked up from Sephora was the YSL all hours the All Hours Foundation Full Coverage Luminous Matte All Day Wear in the shade LN1. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this stuff. I'm not currently wearing this right now, but I think you guys might have seen this in other videos. It's very beautiful. It's a little bit more matte than I would like. If you guys know that because I'm into the clean girl aesthetic, I like more of like a dewy finish. This pulls more matte than I would have liked, to be completely honest. But sometimes I think a little bit of like a matte here, like in the triangle is fine. That's actually the only way that I use it. Like I just put it here in my triangles and on my eyelids so I can like um, make sure that like the mascara doesn't transfer and like that's pretty much it. This bottle is very generous in the sense that I used to buy the cushion. So a lot of people argue that this bottle is very tiny for the price tag. It is 76 Canadian dollars before tax, after tax, 81. And a lot of people are like this is a lot uh, smaller for a regular foundation in terms of like the luxury houses. But like I was paying 80 something before tax for only 14 grams of the cushion. So I'm getting like 10 times the amount in this. So this is cheaper and it costs less. So I'm loving it. It has like a very beautiful lavender smell, which I like a lot. Um, this one, the formulation apparently, I don't know, I did not have the previous one, but the formulation for this is apparently more skincare based, which I think is fantastic. It has SPF and it has hydroluronic acid, which I think is fantastic because as you guys see I'm like really big on skincare. I w this is an intentional purchase. I wanted to buy the original and I waited a really long time to the point where they discontinued the original and created a new one. And I was like, okay, I've waited long enough. I've been waiting to buy this since 2020. So it has been three years and I think that is a long enough time to know that that's something that you want to buy. And I'm an adult now. I'm going to spend my money on the things that make me happy. So this is it. I love it. 
highly recommend it. I love how like the insignia goes around, which is different from the previous one. It's very similar to the mascara and the cushion, which I think is so freaking cute. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this could have been entertaining, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!